Hey there, me again. Uh, just here in Microsoft Excel in Office 365, I'm just in the browser, so uh, you can do this uh, little tip that I've discovered with uh, Excel recently, uh, either in the full desktop version of Excel, or you can do it in the browser, which is what I'm doing right now. And uh, what it is, is uh, we often get to uh, use Excel to manipulate data, uh, lists of information. We want to um, do some manipulation of the of the contents of that information, and we want to be able to do it easily. And uh, in some cases, we might use formulas, we might use different uh, tools that are part of Excel. But there's one particular one that I thought you might be interested in. Now, to get us started, what I thought I'd use is just a simple name generator. I've just gone to a random name generator on the internet. Uh, if I go I want 20 names, I want first names, I want surnames, I want male and female, I want a space in between them, uh, I don't need any wrapper, I don't need any of this other stuff, and I want to click this Generate Names button, and it just gives me a whole bunch of random names, and what I can do with it is copy it all to the clipboard, Control c and then go into my spreadsheet and Control v And what I now have here is a list of names. And what I can do with that list of names is uh, all sorts of different things. So uh, previously, if I wanted to, for example, split them up, going back older versions of Excel, if I wanted to split them up so I had a column in here that was first names and a column in here that was second names, then I could do uh, a few different things. I could write a formula that looked for a space within the name and then took everything to the left of the space uh, and another formula that took, looked for the space and went for everything for the right of the space and filled the columns and so on. Uh, but there are other ways of doing it. One of those is uh, if I highlight all of these names here, for example, and I say I want to split that up, I can go to the data menu here, and there's an option in here that says text to columns, and this is something you may have used before, where you're telling it that you want to find a, a delimiter or, or what it is that separates the two parts of the name that you want to split into columns, which is a space in this case, and uh, you want to put them into two separate columns and I click apply and what that now does is I've got a column A which is the first name and a column B which is the last name. That's pretty good but uh, let's just go control Z because there's another way of doing it which uh, if you want to keep this column here which is the full name but then also have the uh, the separated first name and last name, you can do it a really smart way. It's using artificial intelligence, which is now built into Excel. And what you all you, that you need to do is in, in column B, if you type in the actual first name that is there on the uh, list and go down to the next line or, or just enter it, you can also in this data menu use this little tool called Flash Fill. And what Flash Fill does is says, Oh, you've typed in the first name and I can see that there's that first name over there and when you so chose flash fill you probably mean you want to get the first name of all of these different ones to fill the rest of this line and that's exactly what it's done uh, so I can do exactly the same with the second name so for example uh, I would type Vance uh, in here you've got to spell it right obviously and you can press enter and you can go back up to this flash fill, but the other way of doing it is by using the keyboard shortcut, which is Control E for Eric. Uh, and when you go Control E, bang, it fills that whole uh, lot of rows up with all of those surnames because that's what you asked for in the first place. But you can do other things in here as well. Say, for example, you wanted that name not in uppercase but in lowercase, uh, you could change it like that and go Control E and autom automatically every one of those knows that it needs to be lowercase. Or if you wanted to have uh, some sort of other delimiter in there, you could go rear.vance and you could even add an email address, for example, on the end of it uh, if you wanted to dot .au uh, and then press enter. And what we'll do is just make that a bit wider. And then if you go control E, look what it's done. It's converted all of those to email addresses, whether they're valid or not is another question, but we won't worry about that for now. So what it's done is basically taken what you did in the first step and applied that to all of the rest of those names. What if I wanted initials? Uh, Re-advance is RV, so if I hit that and go Control E, 
it's now done exactly the same for every single one of those so quite amazing uh, little tool and you can use it for phone numbers you can use it for dates you can use it for all sorts of different things to strip out anything that you find common across all of those uh, particular fields all of those entries to be able to pull out those similar ones and flash fill those into the rest of the uh, spreadsheet so that's control E is the shortcut and it's flash fill and you'll find it in the data menu on the um, selection there and it's in a similar sort of place in Excel on the desktop hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next video